What's going on guys? Welcome back to another underwater action episode of Yak Pack Outdoors. Stay tuned because today we're going to be covering the Biwa Tail Gunner, the Zoom Super Fluke, and the Reaction Innovation Skinny Dipper. <laughs> Three specific uh, paddle tail swim bait style lures are my three favorite to throw. Um, I'll usually throw them uh, weightless, or a lot of times, what I've found success on here lately is uh, throwing them on a chatterbait as a trailer. And for some odd reason, you know, whatever it may be, the fish absolutely love that, and uh, and they've been killing it. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. So as per request of the homeowner the CFO of Yak Pack Outdoors. Uh, I'm not gonna be putting these on chatterbaits today because obviously everybody knows chatterbaits have a open hook and it will be quite expensive to replace this if I accidentally tore it. So I'm gonna show you guys on all three, the action of them and how I like to fish them. I like to, you know, kind of pop them and uh, give them a little slow reel. So let's check this out. First up, Reaction Innovation Skinny Dipper. And uh, white trash is called the color. Really good color. Like, uh, goes really well on a white chartreuse chatterbait. So let's check it out. So first thing I'm noticing, slow rate of descent. Give it a couple twitches. Reel it on back. Not really getting a ton of paddling action. I think it may be due to not being able to get this thing down as far as I want to. Kind of spinning almost. Always want to give it those pops on the slack line versus tight line or, or completely loose line. Don't you know you don't want to do that. All right, let's check out what it looks like when I'm reeling it back. It looks like it's spinning. I can't really tell because these little, uh, little water jets he has in the pool. But it looks like it's almost spinning back versus paddling back. I don't know. Can't really tell. Can't really see under the water that great. We'll give it one more and then we'll move on to the uh, Biwa. All right, next up, we're gonna be covering the Biwa Tail Gunner. This thing is just absolutely, I've had so much success putting these on the back of a, uh, as a trailer on a black and blue chatterbait. Love it, let's check it out. Rated descent, not bad, let's swim it back. Oh yeah, I can see that. That paddle tail looks good. Oh yeah, that thing, just the side to side action on this thing is just, it's gonna be hard to beat this one. I'll give it one more reel back and then, I'll give it one more reel back and then, uh, then I'll pop it how I usually do. Oh man, that thing looks so good. I would destroy that if I was a fish. All right, let's pop it back. This is when you're uh, when you're popping these things. This is when you're looking for that that reaction bite. You're trying to get those bass agitated, trying to get them worked up. Let's see. Move it this way. It kind of got that little flip flop action, and. Uh, It's kind of got a little bit of that flip-flop action where when you twitch it, it kind of just flutters, looks like. 
At least from this angle, it looks like it's kind of fluttering back down. I love this color too. Yeah, it's just, you pop it a couple times, you let it go back down, and it just slowly head down swims, just like a, uh, just like a dying fish would do. Just right back down, nose down. All right, thoroughly impressed with the action on this thing. The color as well, love this color, like I said. All this stuff is gonna be linked down in the description below. Feel free to check it out. And let's move on to the Zoom Super Fluke. All right, up next, Paddle Tail Zoom Super Fluke. Really good chatterbait trailer. Throw it right in. The rate of descent looks to be pretty good. We're gonna swim it back. I'm swimming it right through these little, these little jet streams he's got in the pool, so it's kind of hard for me to tell from this angle um, how it's swimming, but it looks to be swimming pretty good. It looks. Like the paddle is doing its job. Not bad. Let's go ahead with the twitch, a little twitch and pause, like I said uh, earlier in the video. This is how I like to do it when I'm looking for those reaction bites. Oh, this thing, side to side movement when you twitch it is just crazy. Yeah, it looks really good. Looking good, looking good. See if we can get a better angle. Yeah. All right, that was the Paddle Tail Zoom Super Flu. All right, so that was just a little quick breakdown, a little analysis, a little underwater action of a Paddle Tail Zoom Super Fluke, Reaction Innovation Skinny Dipper, and a Biwa Tail Gunner. Like I said, all these products will be linked in the description down below. Feel free to check them out. My personal favorite out of these three Paddle Tail swim baits, if I was gonna fish them on the back of a chatterbait and just regularly as a soft plastic swim bait, would probably have to be the Biwa Tail Gunner. Also, these uh, Underwater Action Series videos, these are gonna be driven by the audience, by you guys, all of you. So comment down below, let me know what, what, you, what do you guys wanna see? Uh, I've covered a missile bait destroyer, I've covered 10 plus inch worms, and now the swim baits. So just let me know, uh, I'm down for whatever. Like I said though, I don't wanna put a hole in this pool, so if it's any kind of crankbait or anything like that, you know, I'll take the hooks off of it. Not sure how that would uh, affect the action of a crankbait. I don't think it would affect it too much. Uh, might throw the weight off a little bit, but it's no big deal, we'll work around it. Hey, appreciate you guys watching. Russell and I thank each and every last one of you for taking time out of your day to watch our videos. We greatly appreciate it. With all that being said, we'll catch you guys next time.